Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Tom, you know what I want to do tomorrow? What? I want to go apple picking. Is it going to be a nice day? It's going to be perfect yes. for that. Yeah, that time of year, isn't it? It is. I'm yeah, craving you... like apple crisp. That's what I oh. want. Oh, man, and the apple donuts. Mm -hmm. uh, that sounds great. Y you're going to love the forecast. All Good. right, so, uh, <laughs> so listen up, Liz. Here we go. I want to start out with a shot. I think this shot is so cool. Camel Sump out there taking a look from Waterbury. Yeah, we've got a few clouds around. The clouds have been uh, kind of on again, off again, haven't they? 66 degrees in Waterbury right now. The wind not doing much at all. <laughs> you know, it's funny near the lake today. It was very easy to see. South wind, then the south wind picks up. Then it got a little squirrely out there. And then we found a north wind. That was the cold front going through. That's why temperatures became cooler a little bit later in the afternoon. 70 Plattsburgh, 69 degrees. Burlington, 70s in the Connecticut Valley, 74 Lebanon right now. Temperatures coming down to, I'm thinking the low 50s, right in the Champlain Valley. It does become mainly clear tonight. Now, as you're making plans for the week, maybe you're thinking about apple picking tomorrow. It's going to be sweet. It really is shooting for a high in the Champlain Valley. 70 degrees, a little bit cooler in the mountains, but hang on. Look at how warm it's going to get again this week. Average high 72. We're forecasting 76 for Monday. 78 Tuesday, 76 on Wednesday. So we are looking good. We've got some clouds out there and the risk of a shower or two, but I want to show you something. A little bit earlier when the front came through, you could see some of the showers that bubbled up around the Champlain Valley. Did not see any lightning at all. No rumbles of thunder that I saw to the north, but you know what? We're keeping an eye on this little system right here that may make its way into Bennington County. Looks like that could be the case, maybe over toward Manchester. And we'll watch that. It looks like there was a little lightning in there, not seeing too much going on now. Bottom line as to what's happening here. Front goes through, we clear. It becomes mainly clear tonight, the next two days, not only for Sunday, but Monday as well. We're going to see a boatload of sunshine. Look at this. That is sunshine, upper 60s to near 70 degrees tomorrow. So we get rid of the clouds tonight. Watch Futurecast for the next couple of days. That's Sunday. That is Sunday night. <laughs> and here comes Monday. Wow, just amazing. Next couple of days, hardly any clouds at all. So it becomes mainly clear tonight. Temperatures 40s, low 50s for low temperatures. Here's the deal for tomorrow. It is going to be sunny. It's going to be cooler than it was today, especially earlier today. So we'll call it 68 Morrisville and Stowe, 70 degrees. That's Burlington. Messina at 70. We'll call it 69 Plattsburgh and Shazy. We'll see mostly sunny skies in places like Manchester at 70. Springfield 72, Woodstock, and even Royalton at 72 as well. Champlain Valley, 70 tomorrow, 76 on Monday. A couple of really nice days on the way. Tuesday, partly sunny, 78. Fall arriving Wednesday, but clouds are on the increase. It's going to rain by that night. And it looks pretty showery, not only on Thursday, but I think some scattered showers on Friday. Next weekend, right now, it looks like Sunday, the wetter of the two days. Keep in mind that's a ways out, and we'll keep you updated with every, uh, you know, new batch of data that we get right here at NBC5. Liz?